Hey, Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 16. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, when the house of Israel dwelt in their own land, they've been taken captive, so it's past tense, they defile it by their own way, and they, by their own doing. The way before me as an uncleanness of a removed woman. Now, Proverbs chapter 14, Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12, the Bible says, There's a way that seemeth right unto man, but the end thereof is the ways of death. That's religion. That's science. That's every way but Jesus Christ, who is the way, the truth, and the light. I can get to heaven. How, how are you going to get to heaven? Good works. That's death. How are you going to get to heaven? I go to church. It's, it's not right. That's not the way. Jesus Christ is the way. So we come back to verse 17. It says, Israel was in their own ways like they are today. They're not doing right. They think they're following the law today. And yet, how many Jews in America go three times a year to the temple that's in Jerusalem? They don't go three times a year, and there is no temple in Jerusalem. So they're out of the law by God's own doing. Wherefore, I will pour out my fury, that's anger, upon them for the blood that they have shed murder upon the land. And for their idols. That's a violation of the second commandment. Where they have polluted it. The land has been polluted by the idols. So what do you do when you got a piece of document of the government that says every religion has the freedom to practice a religion and they are involved in idolatry? You're polluting your land, and you have no means to say, God bless America, when our documentation of the, of the Constitution of the United States of America says that Catholics can practice their aids to worship, which is called idols, and the Constitution does not mention God and does not mention Jesus Christ. I guess our founding fathers didn't want to offend anybody. And then the silly, stupid Baptist, God bless America, and all the sins that she lies. We've got all kinds of idols. They come out of Hollywood. We have a program called the American Idol. They're raising this big stake about Mrs. White, who just passed away. Well, if she believed in the Lord Jesus Christ, she's in heaven. And she didn't believe on Jesus Christ and wanted to protect the animals. She's in hell. And from some of the stuff I've read and, and, and heard about her, she's probably in hell. Now, you're not going to get uh, any American preacher going to make a statement I just made. Because you're going to offend. That's cruel. But hey, if she believed on Jesus, she's in heaven. If she didn't believe on Jesus, she's in hell. She's an idol. How do you know she's an idol? Because since the day of her death, even weeks before her death, oh, she was just glamour. Everybody talked about her. Wasn't she such a fine woman? I don't know. And I scattered them among the heathen. And the Jews have been scattered all over. They're in America today. They're all over the world. And they were dispersed through the country, plural, according to their way. According to their way, Proverbs. Proverbs again. Proverbs 16, 25. There is a way that seems right unto man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Look at that, that's repeated twice. Must be serious. Because everybody that's in hell 
has their own way. That's why they're in hell. Because if they're in heaven, they got the way. According to their way, according to their doings, I judge them. And when they enter into the heathen, whether they went, they profane my holy name. When they said to them, these are the people of the Lord and are gone forth out of his land. Even the heathen know, hey, you're, you're God's people. That is God's land. And you got kicked out of it for your sin. The captain of the guard came to Jeremiah and said, you know why this happened, Jeremiah? Because you sinned against God. And all God had, to, had that captain do with Jeremiah is to conclude and to verify the message that Jeremiah had. Therefore, say unto the house of Israel, Thus saith the Lord God, I do not this for your sake. I mean, don't, oh, you know, we're the Jews because we're of Abraham. Even John the Baptist says, listen, don't give me this Abraham. Because God's able to raise these stones. You see, the Jewish people had a pride. We are God's people, and they are. But you sinned against God. That's where the church is today. We are the Christians. We are the pride of Jesus Christ. Yes, true. But you sinned against God, and you are in an area today that makes God sick. You are practicing the things of the heathen. You are doing your own way. O house of Israel, but for my holy name's sake, which have profaned among the heathen, whither ye went. God said, listen, my name is upon you. For my oath. If God never made an oath to Abraham, Israel would have been wiped off. But God is held to his word. And I will sanctify my great name, which was profaned among the heathen, which you have profaned in the midst of them. They were taunting God because of Israel's sin. And there are people out there today, they'll be witnessed to by some, well, I know a Christian that does this. I know a Christian that does that. I know a pastor who, I know a piano player who, I know a song leader who, block, fill in the blank. And there are people out there who will not trust God, will have nothing to do of God because a worldly carnal Christian. That's blaspheming the name of God. That's a sin by both parties. I will sanctify my great name, which is profane. Profaned among the heathen, when you have profaned in the midst of them, and the heathen shall know that I am the Lord, saith the Lord God, when I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes. There are religions today, God's all finished with the Jew. Replacement theology. But the day that Jesus Christ comes back, separates the Jews and the sheep, and the goats. The Jews are going to go in. And the goats who did not help the Jews are going to hell, and those ignorantly helped the Jew are going into the millennial kingdom. I guess God wasn't all finished with the Jew. And there's an even point that the 144,000 have the name of their father, Jehovah, written on their foreheads. Satan has his own remark. To counterfeit the mark that God gives 144,000. I'm going to believe that they're almost identical. The day that Jesus Christ becomes the King of Kings and Lord of Lords 
in Jerusalem today, everybody says that God is finished with the Jew. They're wrong. And then you'll find out one day that the Gospel of Matthew was written to the Jews, not to the church. For I will take you from among the heathen. He did that with Ezra and Nehemiah. He did it in World War One. He did it World War Two. He's going to do it. What we believe, some believe, is still Petra, but I mean, wherever they are at the Second Advent, and gather you out of all countries. Now they weren't in a lot of countries when Ezra and Nehemiah, and will bring you into your own land. See, that land belongs to Israel. I don't care what the United Nuts in New York City say. Matter of fact, too, God bless America. One nation under God. We're going to have a revival in America with the United Nations in New York City that hates the Jews, that curses the Jews. You think God's going to bless America with that organization in New York? I will curse them that curse you. The United Nations curses the nation of Israel. You want a revival, you got to get rid of the United Nuts. And America is one of the few nations, I think there's three nations, that is permanently in that assembly. They couldn't get out if they wanted to. So there goes your revival. There goes God bless America. And then count in with the baby killings. Count, then count the injustice our justice system has. Count in the fact is that there are criminals in America that deserve, according to the Bible, to be executed for their crime. And they, die, and they live in jail to the day they die of natural causes. That's not God bless America. That land belongs to Israel. Tell the PLO, tell the Arabians, tell the Catholic, tell everybody, get out of that land. If I was ever made president, I put Israel in that land. I kick everybody out, and anybody launches one missile into into, uh, into Israel, I will launch every single twenty four missiles of all the nuclear ballistic submarines I have at the enemy that launched that one missile. One missile into Israel, you will get at least a hundred missiles in your backyard. I would protect Israel, all protection of Israel. But I was made a leader. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon it? That's not baptism. There's your sprinkle and there's your water, but it's not baptism. What is that? That's the same thing that Israel went through the Red Sea. They were baptized under the cloud. When they went through that Red Sea, there was water this side, water on that side, and there was a cloud above them. You see how the Roman Catholic and all those that baby sprinkling on it, you see where they steal it? They steal it from the Old Testament. And it's for the nation of Israel. The you is Israel. And how many religions take that for them? Replacement theology. And ye shall be clean. It didn't say clean by... From all your filthiness, from all your idols, will I cleanse you. That pitches the, the water of separation in the Old Testament. A new heart also I give you. Now this is now this is not individual. This is corporate. As a group of people called the Jew, they're going to get a new heart because their heart now is wrong. A new spirit will I put within you. They got the wrong spirit. They got the devilish spirit. They got the idolatrous spirit. They got the sinful spirit. They got the unholy spirit. They got the filthy spirit. God's going to give them the holy spirit one day. 
I will take away the stony heart of your foot. The Jews today, they, they, they are rock hard. They are stubborn. They are, God's got to give them a new heart and I will give you a heart of flesh. Some feeling, some emotion. You'll listen at this time. I will put my spirit, the Holy Spirit, within you. I thought God was all done with them. Oh, you see, this has happened during... No, no, no. This is future. The only way the Holy Spirit goes into a Jew today is individually if he puts his faith and trust in Jesus Christ. That's a few Jews that get saved. The majority of the Jews that go to Broadway that leaves instruction, they don't get the Holy Spirit. But when Jesus Christ comes and they're gathered up by Jesus, then they'll get the new Holy Spirit. Well, the new, the new Spirit, the Holy Spirit. And cause you to walk in my statutes, law, and keep my judgments, law, and do them in the millennium. Because there, and we're going to come up to it pretty soon, because there is the temple in the millennium. The law is active. In the tribulation period, though I had one preacher tell me I was full of it. I mean, why and how would the Antichrist be seated, seated where he's not to be seated in the most holy place if there's no temple and law? And that law is going to carry over and Jesus is going to have his temple. It's going to be clean and everything like he went and cleaned the temple in his day. And it will be the law of Moses, the law of God in the millennium. And Israel will do them. I will also save you from all your uncleanness. And there, there's a lot. And I will call for the corn. And it will increase it and lay no famine upon you. Under the blessings of the millennium, all oh, the crops are going to be great. There's going to be no crop failure. Unless you don't go to the Feast of Tabernacles. And that's the Gentiles. I will multiply the fruit of the tree. No, look, look how he has it singular. And increase the field that ye shall receive no more reproach of famine among the heathen. It's going to be prosperity. Osteen won't be there. Then shall you remember your old evil weeds. Look at that. There's remembrance of what they did wrong. What's one of the ways Israel is going to remember? The word of God is going to be opened up and read to them. They're going to go through the book of Judges. Oh, man, look how bad we were. They're going to go through the history of their kings. Oh, boy. And then they're going to go through Isaiah, Jeremiah, and Ezekiel. And they're going to say, oh, man. And then they're going to go through the Gospels and see what they did to Jesus. And your doings that were not good. And shall loathe, that's a extreme hatred yourselves, in your own sight for the iniquities and for your abominations. So there's going to be a national repentance and sorry. That's not in the church either. There's not even re teachings of repentance today in the church. Not for your sakes do I this, saith the Lord God. Be it known unto you, be ashamed and confounded for all for your own ways, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord God, in the day that I shall cleanse you from all your iniquities. Look at that. That has not happened now. I will also cause you to dwell in the city, and the waste shall be built. Israel, as a corporate, has not been cleansed. Individual, the desolate land shall be tilled. Well, look at that. They're going to go back to farming in the millennium, like Adam. Whereas it lay desolate in the sight of all that passed by. You say, well, you know, the land's being built up today. You know, I pay for a tree in Israel by man and by the devil, not by God. There are people who hate the Jews 
in Israel right now today. That's not going to happen in the millennium. They're not going to carry AK-7s in the millennium. And they shall say, this land that was desolate has become like the Garden of Eden. See, see, I am not full of it. I have been saying what is proper. The Garden of Eden was, the Garden of Eden was without curse. And the waste and desolate and the ruined cities have become fenced, are inhabited. You're still going to have fenced cities in the millennium. Then the heathen that are left round about you shall know that I, the Lord, builded the ruined places and plant that which was desolate, like he did in Genesis 1. I, the Lord, has spoken it, and I will do it. <laughs> there you go. Thus saith the Lord God, I will yet for this be inquired of by the house of Israel to do it for them. I will increase them like men with men like a flock. They're going to be just herds and herds of people. Jews. As the holy flock. You know, the Catholic Church takes that for themselves. As the flock of Jerusalem in her solemn feast. That's all the feasts. And that's not Christmas and Easter. And that's not Halloween. The future holy days. Holy days. Coming. Day of Atonement. Feast of the Passover. Feast of the Trumpets. Feast of uh, the Booths. Pentecost. You're not going to see Ethar. You're not going to see Christ Mass. You're not going to see Halloween. You're not going to see Labor Day. You're not going to see the 4th of July. So shall the waste cities be filled with flocks of men, and they shall know that I, and there it is again, there I am the Lord. When Israel's in their land, Jesus Christ is the King of kings, the Lord of lords, all have been settled and all the scriptures have been fulfilled and all those that hate the Jew are in hell. Plain and simple. 